Hey Girl Scouts, I'm Andrea Peterson. I'm the Program Specialist with Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines. Today we're going to be going over the Daisy Roller Coaster Design Challenge Badge. So we're going to get started in about at about 3.02. So if you want to maybe make a comment where you're tuning in from and then if you did anything fun over the weekend or if you're looking forward to something for this weekend, let me know. I see we have three people tuned in. Let me know where you're tuning in from and if you did anything fun this weekend or if you have any fun plans for the next weekend. So for those who are just turning on, I'm Andrea Peterson. I'm the Program Specialist with Girl Scouts of Minnesota, Wisconsin, Lakes and Pines. We're going to be going over the Daisy Roller Coaster Design Challenge Badge. So um, we'll get started in about one minute. So if you want to maybe comment on where you're tuning in from and something fun you did over the weekend, let me know. See, we have Nancy tuning in today. We have some people tuning in from Nashville. Awesome. Thank you for tuning in. All right. So we're going to start. We're going to get started. So again, I'm Andrea Peterson. I'm the program specialist with Girl Scouts of Minnesota, Wisconsin Lakes and Pines. And today we're going to go over the Daisy Roller Coaster Design Challenge Badge. And the fun thing with this badge is the girls get to be super creative and kind of think about maybe if they've gone to an amusement park, something that they really liked about roller coasters and maybe something they didn't like. When I was younger, um, I loved roller coasters, but I didn't like the roller coasters that would go uh, in a full circle. So when I think about designing them um, when I was younger, if I was going to design a, a roller coaster, I wouldn't want one that would go in a circle. But nowadays I love that, so I would want a ton of circles in my roller coaster. So there are three steps in this activity. I'm going to go over one step with you, and then if you are interested in the rest of the badge requirements, you can visit the Volunteer Toolkit or the Girls, Girl Scout shop website, and you can download the full requirements. So the purpose of this badge is when you earn this badge, you will know how roller coasters work and understand motion and speed. So you think about a roller coaster, some roller coasters go fast and some roller coasters go slow. Some are way more movie and they move around a lot more. So if you think of like the mad mouse um, ride, you're spinning a lot more and it might be a little bit more jerky. Um, but if you think of one roller place around us that we can go on roller coasters is Valley Fair and Steel uh, Venom is you go up one side, it's kind of like the ship when you go on when you're younger and you go up and you swing back and forth. So depending on um, which one you think about the most, you kind of will learn about the speed and kind of how roller coasters move. So in the first step, you're going to make a roller coaster car. So I made a real example of a roller coaster car today. I'll show you it kind of move to a little bit. So to ride on a roller coaster, you need a car to sit in. Now, these cars can look different depending on what roller coaster you're, uh, you are in. Um, engineers make models when they are creating some new roller coasters. So today, that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be making um, a model of something that you'd want your roller coaster to look like when you're designing it. Um, those models are called um, prototypes. So prototypes are just examples of what the final product are going to be. So proto is a Greek word, um, which means first. Uh, prototypes are the first try at making something new. So again, you're going to be making this and it's going to be your first attempt at a new maybe style of a roller coaster or maybe a uh, redo of an existing roller coaster, but you're trying to make it a little bit more better and something you think is more fun. So by making a model of a car that can roll down a ramp, you'll be able to test an important part of your roller coaster and learn how it works. So when you are on a roller coaster, 
you want to make sure it moves, right? If you're in a car and your roller coaster doesn't move, well, then you're not really going to go anywhere. So making sure that your car in this instance can roll because uh, when you're on a real roller coaster, you're not going to, you're going to have little um, teeth, you can call them almost, that helps propel your car forward. And in your roller coaster, you're probably not going to have those type of teeth. So that's, so that's why we're going to have wheels on ours to help us propel us down a roller coaster. So for my roller, for my car, I just did a really simple design. I just did a water bottle. I have cardboard wheels. I glued my wheels on with a hot glue gun and then just put some um, rubber bands there to make it look a little bit nicer, I guess. And I just like the color blue. And then I cut on the top here. I don't know if you can see that. I cut little squares in there so people can sit in there when um, they use the roller. They use my roller coaster. So if I I have a clipboard here. So I'm going to take my clipboard and put my car on it. And then I'm going to roll my car. See how it rolls? It moves. I can tilt it and it'll move back and forth. So that's one thing that you'll want to be able to have your car do is be able to roll. Now, say you don't have that stuff at home, you're more than welcome to use. Maybe you have paper, some harder, thicker paper that you want to add wheels to and have it roll down. You can make a really nice one out of wood if you want. You can be as creative as possible. That's the really awesome thing about this one is you just think of your favorite, your favorite roller coaster and think about the seat that it's in and that's how you can make your design. Now, in another step, you will learn, you will be designing a actual roller coaster. So a great thing to do, whether you're making a car or the actual roller coaster is making a drawing of it first. Draw it out and think, what do I want it to have? What do I don't? And think of the pros and cons of a roller coaster that you go on or that you've been on and think about what you like about it and what you don't like about it. So you can kind of start thinking um, of different things you want on it. So that's, that's all we have today for you. If uh, you want the full requirements list, again, you can go on the volunteer toolkit or download them from our Girl Scout shop website. Um, thank you for tuning in. And if you liked what you see, uh, we have a survey in our link in the events and please fill it out so we know how we're doing. Thank you and have a great day.